welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how to handle a void success case with the result library in Swift. Let's set the stage. Our viewer is introducing the result framework in their app, aiming to streamline error handling. They have a function that retrieves an item by its ID, and they want to know how to implement a success case that returns nothing, similar to a delete operation. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. Let's start by understanding how to handle a success case that returns nothing using the result framework in Swift. In our example, we have a function called delete item that takes an ID and a completion handler. The completion handler returns an optional error. To implement this using the result type, we can define our completion handler to return a result type with no success value. This can be done by using result void error. Now, when we call delete item, we can handle the result using a switch statement. If the result is a success, we simply call handle success without any parameters. This approach allows us to clearly differentiate between success and failure cases while maintaining a clean and readable code structure. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To handle a void success case with the result library, you can create a simple extension. This allows you to use .success instead of .success for success cases. This extension simplifies your code, making it cleaner and easier to read when dealing with void success cases. For more details, check out the link provided in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user presents a solution for handling void success cases using a result type. They define an enum called void result with success and failure cases. They provide a function called make request that performs a network request without expecting data back. It takes parameters like URL, HTTP method, and headers. Inside the function, they determine the appropriate parameter encoding based on the HTTP method and log the request. The completion handler returns either success or failure based on the response status code. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle a void success case with the result library, you can define a type alias for your result handler. In this example, the handler takes response items and an error.
Next, create a function to delete an item by its ID. Call the completion handler with the items and any error that occurs. Finally, when calling the delete function, check if there is an error. If not, you can proceed with your logic. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.